Well, I found this um, piece of plexiglass in my garage and I want to try to use this on the bed on my ANET A6. So let's start cut this uh, piece of uh, plexiglass by 220 by 220. And let's take off the, the old blue tape from the print bed. Something I used on my Dremel. It looks quite good and fits. But what I want to do here now is to print some clamps. And they need to be exactly eight millimeters. So let's go do that on a computer. Well, I want to uh, make, a I call it a plexi clamp. Uh, I don't have something else to use, so I want to design and then I print it on my Dremel because I took off the blue tape of my internet. So uh, let's get started. Uh, we start with a box. Six minutes that's cool let's go for it uh, put it on on my dremel sticker So while we are printing on the Dremel, the first uh, plexiglass clamp, I have uh, made a, a small clamp here because I already now know that I have to lower the bed because my plexiglass is, I think, approximately uh, five millimeters. So this little one here will be put in here, right there, and it will stop the set axis six millimeters higher up than it was originally. To secure it, I want to give it a little bit from a, a glue stick. Let's see how we can do that. We'll give it a little one here, a little dash, just as it's not moving. Oh, so here we go. Another thing we need to do is to take our bed as low as possible. This means we will uh, crack down the springs as much as we can. Here we go. 
here we go. And here we go. Let me just be sure that I'm not glued the set axis into let me turn it on. And let us see how this will be. Let me try. Move the axis. Move the set. And it runs perfectly. So, this means that the clamp is now holding here. It's not uh, on the set axis and it is not uh, hanging on on the, on the side. So let's go back and do um, auto home. Uh, let's see if the plate can be there. Taking the Y axis out and now the set axis down. And it stops. Well, it's a good hide, I see. So, disable my. Just turn off. Take this out. Put this under. And as you can see, it moves freely forward and back. So, we are now ready to test out the, the clamps when, when they are finished in the Dremel. So the parts look uh, quite good and uh, I made one long one here that I want to put here in front and uh, the two small because you have the wires for, for the heated bed behind. Let's take a look. Get clamped in there. And we clamp on in there. Let me take this big one on the outside. Well, ah. Uh, Got this. Not far. Need to put it right so it can pass here. And in fact, this is uh, quite smart. And as you see, it's okay. So the next step is to level the bed. And I use a, a folded sheet of paper. Uh, there's quite a lot to, to level here, so let us see. I'll do that. Take just a little bit of as well. So we go again. Why I use the paper folded is, first of all, it would be around two tenths of a millimeter. The second thing is when, when this gets hot, it also expands. Uh, I mainly print PLA, so obviously there should be no need for for a heated bed, but I could have it around 50 degrees. Normally, um, this is good. Normally, plexiglass would, uh, would uh, bend a little bit, but I hope the clamps will keep it, keep it down. But normally, it, it would bend if, if we turn on the heat on the bed. Need. This needs to be 
Here we go. The last one seems good. So, I think we are ready to uh, to do a, a test print, and I will use my my square. So uh, let's see how that will be. First, without anything, only a big brim, and no heated bed. So let's take a look at that. Well, the print looks like, how should I say, shit. Obviously my nozzle is uh, clogged, so I have to repair that. But, the rectangle is sticking to the, to the, to the plexiglass. And this is done without a heated bed. Let's see if we can get it off. It goes very light off, and the bottom looks just Gorgeous. But the rest, well, I will fix that tomorrow. It's late now. And uh, well, thank you for watching. I hope it helps you. See you later.